How are you? Uh, settled into life under Antonio Conte? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if you can ever be settled, but um, definitely into into the swing of things. And um, I think it's been three, four, five weeks maybe now. So um, yeah, obviously getting to to know each other and uh, starting to understand the way the way he likes to work and the way he likes things to to be done. You know, at the training ground and around match day, and obviously on the pitch. Most importantly, is it as fierce as everybody said it? <laughs> Is it was going to be no it's it's um there's been tough training sessions which uh is a good thing i think um i think the boys have really enjoyed really enjoyed uh, the time we've had tough sessions uh a lot of us were here under under pochettino so so we know about them um so we're prepared in some way but uh yeah as i said it's it's been really enjoyable to work in that way and and uh to really push ourselves and you know i think um we we need to improve and we need to we need to improve quickly. So um, so it's been uh, it's been really good so far. Some people like strictness. They like boundaries. They like rules. Others aren't quite so keen. Yeah. Which camp do you fall into? Well, first of all, I don't think it's that bad. It's not like we're <laughs> that's the impression we've been getting. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think uh, there's a bit of an overreaction in that sense. Um, because I think uh, obviously the manager has an incredible passion and intensity towards football, but but off the pitch, around the building, it's, it, he, he's, he's very personal. Um, you know, it, there's there's quite a, a relaxed fun? environment. Yeah, a lot of a lot a lot of a lot of fun. Him him and his staff, they they enjoy a joke. Bit, and it's bit not of always serious. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, they did the the singing initiations of the first did thing, which they? was really good. Go on, what so, did he sing? Um, it was all it was all Italian classics, it was. but um, a bit of opera, of course. But they were they were fun, they they sang with the same passion that they they have for football, so it was enjoyable. So so you know it's not all uh, all serious, but definitely when it's the time to work, it's it's the time to work. I guess he said that to you, like I can make you a better player, I can yeah. get you back in that England squad. I don't know, is that the sort of you know I can make you into one yeah. of the best defenders in the in the world? Yeah, I think that's. Um, Obviously, for all, for anyone as a player, as a player, you want to constantly improve and 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 try and get better, um, and I think that's definitely something that he, historically he has always done. And you know, he's spoken to us about his ambition in that sense as well, and his his strength in that sense. And you know, I think it's a case of you know we've we've uh, got to give ourselves to him, you know, and and put ourselves put our trust in him, put our put us in ourselves in his hands. And uh, you know he'll he'll do he'll do everything for us. So um, it's about it's about building that relationship, building that trust, and and showing from our side our commitment. Um, and yeah, he has a fantastic history of not only winning but improving improving every team he he works with and the players within that. So for us, that's something that's extremely exciting. You got that good old fixture list, haven't you, over Christmas? Mm. Um, it, it's a chance really to, to have a little bit of a, a run isn't it it's mm. been slightly stuttering uh, so far I think yeah is that, yeah, that, think is that the feeling I mean a big response I guess from last week having missed out on the chance obviously to play against Burnley consistency is something that we really need to improve on you know I think at times we we, uh, we can be really good and 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 uh, Play really ga really good games uh, good results but we're, we're lacking we're lacking that consistency to do it over and over again, game after game. I think um, because that's, of you know mentality, we need to be better. We need we need to be better. We need to be more consistent in in uh, in everything we do. Uh, we need to improve. You know, in 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 every way. You know, in every way, we need to improve and be better. And I think there's a huge space for us to improve, and it's about filling that space every single day. And with that consistency in our behaviours every day at training and taking that into games. So um, I think that's something that we're really focused on. I think it's something, you know, the manager's spoken to us about. So it's about, yeah, it's about finding that and, and uh, hopefully we can do that over Christmas where there is there are so many games, it's one after the other. So hopefully that can help us find that as well. It is always a busy period, isn't it? And, uh, you know, not much time for sort of friends, family, Mm. All that Christmas shopping. So do you do it early? <laughs> Thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> Have you done it already? No, no, no. no. no are you, you leave a, it to the I'm last, a last minute. minute. Are I'm you? a last minute kind of guy. <laughs> do you, do you, yeah. Yeah. Do you ever get used to playing all those games and 
basically I hotel, quite, to hotel. Or do you uh, like it? I quite enjoy do it you? because you know you're just there for the good parts at Christmas. You know, oh, so um, you just pop in for you just pop in for the for the Christmas dinner and leave when the arguments start. Yeah, all the waiting around between dinner and uh, presents and lunch and dinner, all that waiting around. I sort of miss all of that. So. Um, yeah, you're just in and out for all the good parts, and uh, I quite enjoy it. So Christmas shopping done Christmas Eve on the way home. Yeah, probably, probably. Brilliant. I'll get, I'll get a, I'll do, I'll, I'll figure it out. But it's not, it's not on my mind yet. World Cup still the ambition for next year when you wake up on January the first. You know, <laughs> yeah, set those of New course. Year's resolutions. That's the ambition. Um, that will always, always be the ambition for me. Um, but there's a a lot of football to be played um, before then. So, you know, I'm just really focused on on trying to, to play and play well for Tottenham um, and, and, you know, improve individually and collectively and, and put Tottenham in a much better position than it is right now.